Hey guys, it's Mark and welcome to Chatting with Mark Stice. So, got my wetsuit on, got my double hose regulator, so we're off to do another scuba video. So we're going to look at a scuba scene from the movie Amsterdam. It was done in 1988, and uh, let's take a look and we'll talk, chat about it, okay? Hmm. I think you're making a mistake going alone. You really think there's more than one murderer around? The man that's under arrest, we're not certain that he's the murderer. I'm not going to fudge around here. Sure this is his part? Oh yeah, John, no question. This is where it sank. Good. You'll soon know how it happened. How will you know he's okay? He'll tug on the line. One tug means he's okay. Five tugs, he's in trouble. He's inside a boat. How can you tell? The bubbles. What do you mean? The bubbles are no longer there, so he's inside the boat. Oh, right. Yeah. Right. He's all right. Is that normal? All right, so uh, that was actually pretty cool. That was actually kind of interesting. I think the, the yellow wetsuit was actually done um, for the purposes of at least showing him better underwater. Um, it was really kind of cool simply because when he gets inside the, uh, inside the boat, there's literally no place for him to go. And when he opens the one door and he sees the other diver, he's had it because the other diver simply grabs the rope he's attached to and it's like, come here. There's literally no place for him to go. And then unfortunately, when these guys on top of the boat, the boat think that he's in trouble, they automatically begin pulling him in. So when they're pulling him in, they're only pulling him closer to the guy with the knife. So, so if you really think about it, these three idiots unfortunately kept pulling him closer to the murderer. So the murderer just kept slashing away at him. This guy literally had no chance. Have you guys seen this movie before? Because it is called Amsterdam. It's from 1988. Um, so, I mean, that makes it 30 years old. I mean, it's 2018 now. So it's a 30-year-old movie. Uh, I'm not that familiar with it. I actually have to thank uh, 
frogwoman.org. Uh, that was the person who actually told me about this and was able to help me get this movie. So um, I'd like you guys to at least leave a comment. Thank uh, frogwoman.org or tell me what you think about this particular scene. I mean, there was no nowhere for this other frogman to go. I mean, this this scuba diver was trapped. I mean, your only means of escape are is quite literally the door where the killer is. There's no way past them, and unfortunately, you're you've got a a rope attached to you. So every single time, you know, the murderer pulls you in. There's no place for you to go, unless of course he decided to grab his knife, his dive knife, and cut the rope. But Again, it's moot point. You're inside a boat. There's no place for you to go. There's, there's not a lot of room to maneuver. There's a lot of stuff around. There's a lot of debris. And of course, it was the dead guy. But this diver had no chance. What do you guys think? Do you guys think that it was possible for the diver to escape? I mean, if he had gotten his knife out first and cut the rope, there might have been a way for the two of them to, to kind of fight it out. But quite literally, when... The uh, murderer began to pull on the rope and pull the diver closer to him. He had no chance. I mean, once you start getting cut, quite literally, this, this guy was done for. It was just a matter of time before he died. Well, I hope you liked the video. I hope you did um, find it interesting. If you know anything about this movie, like I said, Amsterdam, 1988. So if you know anything about this movie, I'd really like to, uh, to know your opinion. Uh, obviously, it is... Uh, dive gear that is of the period because he had the yellow wetsuit on when he pulled um, when he pulled up the uh, the wet when he pulled up the zipper to the wetsuit you notice kind of went on the side here so I mean obviously wetsuits have changed obviously uh, dive gear has changed I'm a, I'm a real vintage dive buff as everybody already knows so again Amsterdam leave your comments uh, and if if anything, if you don't want to leave a comment, at least leave a thank you for Frogwoman ORG, or at least be kind enough to at least check out that site. Uh, you'll always find it in my featured channels. Uh, this was really, really wonderful. I really, really did enjoy it. And that's it. I'm Mark Stice. Thanks for watching this video. Bye-bye. Yeah.